CustomTacticals.com here, and the review knife I'm reviewing today is the um, Spyderco Sage. Um, the Spyderco Sage has become um, quite the fixture in the lineup at Spyderco, um, as evidenced by so many different versions of it coming out. It's kind of developed a little bit of a cult cult status in amongst the Spyderco collectors and enthusiasts. Um, similar to the way um, the Cali 3 and the Native have become very um, very popular knives in the lineup. Um, this version is the titanium version of the Sage. Uh, it's a little bit higher end. Um, it has the CPM S30B steel, but is made in Taiwan. So like a few of the other knives from Spyderco, they're shipping the uh, American steel out to Taiwan to have it made, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, this uh, titanium titanium version has got a sort of a fine bead blast on it. Has a nice deep uh, sort of a choke up choil here in the front, and then a larger index choil here. Or if you want, you can hold it this way if you don't want to choke up on it. I like to choke up on my eyes when I use them because I tend to be more detailed user. I like to get right in there. Um, even when I'm you know when I'm using a chef's knife, I like to you know curl up right next to the knife and use it so it's more natural for me to want to choke up to a knife so uh, I do like the handle of the sage in that it's very ergonomic this cut here very nice against the index finger nice jimping there along the top and of course the spiderco hole design all gives it gives it a nice little ledge there for the jimping so you can really push down with the thumb and, and guide the blade when you're using it so the overall the design is, is, is very good um, very simple, um, slight variations from from many of the other popular knives, such as the Cali 3. Um, in a lot of ways, similar to the Cali 3 as well. Um, but, uh, you know, just very, very minor differences. Of course, uh, the uh, the uh, frame lock is, is one major difference in the design. Uh, this one has the uh, wire clip, and it's reversible from left to right but not tip up, tip down. It's only available in tip up. The frame only has uh, two points where it's uh, held together in the back, one, one in the middle, and one where the pocket clip is. Very smooth action. Uh, bronze phosphorus washers. Uh, these ones are tighter together than they were on the previous models from Taiwan. I remember the earlier Taiwan models um, that they were made they had quite a bit of gap there, and um, I didn't really like that. To me, that uh, that shows you know um, lack of precision in the in the in the manufacturing, because um, generally speaking, the, the thinner the washers, the tighter the tolerances are, and the less room for error. Um, but uh, you know, it's 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 a well-made knife. They're they're pretty affordable. Um, Hundred. Uh, Hundred some odd dollars, hundred. And, I don't know what they, these these guys run. I think on the used market they run in the one thirties or something like that. So pretty nice knife. And uh, being that it's a Spyderco, it's uh, always going to maintain its value, and uh, possibly will become collectible one day. So that's one another good reason to collect Spydercos. Not only are they great knives to use, but they uh, they do uh, do well maintaining their their values, and sometimes surprise you with a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a price jump when when the model gets discontinued. So. I think the uh, Spyderco Sage is a it's a very very solid solid knife design from Spyderco, and uh, is a great user. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little review. Have a good one.